Hi, my name is Anna Verano. I am the little green girl, and this is my Zero Waste YouTube channel. Hi hey guys, it's Anna. Happy whatever day you're watching this video. So today I wanted to film a video, but I didn't know what video to film. So I was going through my old videos and I found 10 easy ways to reduce your waste. I'll have it up there. Um, and I basically realized that those were not easy. They were super hard to accomplish. And my dad actually like bashed them in my lazy environmentalist video and I still didn't listen to him. And I just like look back a year later and I'm like, um, I didn't like this video. So I decided that today I was going to like kind of do a remake of that video, but easier. So here is five easy ways to save the planet. So the first thing you can do is to thrift whatever you can. 92 million tons of clothing waste from fast fashion go into the landfill each year. In, and not to mention that that's bad for the environment, but just ethically, it's horrible what conditions these people in these sweatshops are doing. They're making around about three cents an hour, and they're working mostly at a hundred hours a week. That means they get three dollars for working a hundred hours a week. They earn three dollars. That isn't okay. That's insane. If you literally need to, if the people making our clothes are making three dollars. The second thing you can do is to start incorporating plants into your house. I know this isn't like a sustainable thing necessarily, like it is sustainable, but it doesn't reduce waste. But I thought I would add it because it's just so amazing what these plants can do. So here are some things that these plants can do. They can help you be more productive. They can help prevent cold. They can get your air which cleans per pollution from other things. They can reduce noise levels. So if you have a really loud apartment, you're not gonna have a really loud apartment anymore. Um, and it helps your hair and your skin to be clear and as beautiful as possible. They also fight pollution. And one of my favorite things is they give you something to love. They give you something in your heart. And my favorite thing to do with my plants is to name them. This one's tomato and this one's mango and they are fraternal twins. <laughs> and the last thing is they just look cute. They give your house a really nice decoration that is sustainable and they're just super minimalist and like actually really cute. The third thing you can do to reduce your waste is to, well, eat less beef. Whether it's eating vegan or eating vegan once a week or only eating beef once a month, whatever you do, it is amazing. And I want every, our all goals should be to save the planet and to use our diets as that one day. I learned something really crazy today. Even one pound of any kind of beef uses the same amount of water as you not showering for five months. Five months, that's insane. Every night, if you shower every single night, every single day, you will save so much. That's insane. Also, if you didn't know, cows, when they graze, so their way of breaking down food is that they produce methane gas. And each cow produces 100 grams of methane kilogram, sorry, of methane gas per year. There is over 1.5 billion cows in the world. That means 150 billion milligrams of CO2 are being emitted into the atmosphere every single year from just cows. And that might not make sense to you because you might not know, but 
90% of the world's CO2 emissions come from beef. That is more percentage than the amount we use for cars. Indeed. And it's not good for you. Steak is not good for you. Milk is not good for you. And I also wanted to mention that milk is messed up. We produce milk as humans and babies drink that milk. So shouldn't the cows, why are we drinking the cow's milk? That's just weird. The cow, the calves should be drinking the cow's milk, not us. If we should be drinking anything, it should, we shouldn't be drinking any milk. We only drink milk when you're, we're young. That just doesn't make sense to me. Number four is to ride less in the car and ride on your longboard, your bike, any transportation besides a car. This is so good for you. It's so good for the planet. 25, 27% of the world's CO2 emissions come from cars. If we eliminate that just a tad, that will make such a healthier planet. Now here are some reasons why you should bike, longboard, do whatever your choice of transportation is. First one is you get a beautiful tan that we all want for summer. You see the city in different ways that you would see than in a car. You never get stuck in traffic because there's always a way around it where it's a car. There is not always a way around it. It's a workout and you get wherever you want to go. They say that you lose 500 calories biking 45 minutes. And you get to be outside, which does wonders for your mental health, your physical health, your just health. It also is a great way you can social distance and not be in a car together. You can have your bikes six feet apart from each other and still talk to each other. So that's great. And you get lots of vitamin d sorry about that number five is to open your windows so you can lose use less air conditioning now in, in florida it is very hot and you cannot live without air conditioning unless the windows are open here's some things why you should do it a hundred million tons of co2 from the air come from air conditioning it also brings in fresh air, which is good for us. You get more vitamin D, which is good for us from the sun, even though you're still inside. It circulates air, which is good for the virus, coronavirus, so you're less likely to spread it. It's also cheaper, so you are not spending all your money on the air conditioning. You get clean air, your air smells better. It helps you think which is great. I know I can focus better when I open the window, play some relaxing music, and I can do my homework. It also, in the winter, can help you, or anytime. I don't know why I said winter. Having the window open and seeing the sunset lets your body to start producing melatonin, which helps you to go to sleep. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe down below if you are new here. I post new videos every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have any video suggestions down below that you would like to see, just comment them right down below. I love you guys so much. Bye!